Hey there, people! I'm your friend and neighbor, Let's Play Spider-Man. Welcome to welcome you back to Thibberweed Park. I've left off. Uh, Franklin has problems with the being a ghost. So apparently, there is some guy in this room, and we need to use him to distract our uh, the manager, sheriff, coroner. But I really need to find out for what reason. So for now, I need to stay focused and so. So for now, I am just going to go around and take a look at pretty much everywhere. Oh yeah, this is the vista. Right, right, right. Of course. That's what, what a vista is. It's a lookout point type of thing. Uh, so, um... I think I'm gonna go to the circus? Because we need to go and talk to Ransom. If he's still here, that is. Tickets, 25 cents. Kind of cheap for a ticket, isn't it, for a circus? Usually I would think that they would go for a higher price. It looks like a circus clown horn. But then again, I haven't been to a circus in a long time. Sometimes there, there are circuses around here, but I never go to them. I don't want to pick that up. Maybe I should go to one of the circuses just to check it out at one point. Might be fun. I mean, the last time I went to a circus, uh, it was uh, at, a lo at the local school that I went to, and that was like 20 years ago. 30 years ago. Not 20, 30 years ago. I'm already forgetting how old I am. I remember when those dolls were all the rage. People would wait in line for hours to get one. Wouldn't you want a hanging doll for yourself? I'm not touching that. I'd... It's probably cursed, like Ransom. And then you would get some uh, clown... Uh, the Klaus, clown face paint and a red nose on your face? Yeah, that would be bad. It's a rusty old padlock. And it's locked. Can we open it? <sighs> I can't open it. Maybe if I bang on the gate, someone will open it. I hope so. Open up! Federal agents. Keep your panties on. I'm coming. Keep your panties on. <laughs> Whatever you're selling, I'm not buying. Well, so take your dime store suit and good news pamphlets and stick them where the sun don't shine. Well, she already called federal agents. I guess you couldn't hear because of your hair. Because your hair is so loud. Ransom the clown. I heard you know about a body by the bridge. Jeez, no foreplay, Red. You don't beat around a bush, do you? Not my style. No, she's straightforward. You can ask your questions, Toots, but I'm not saying I'll answer. You'd better if you want to stay out of trouble. What do you know about the body by the river? What body? Earlier this evening, we found a body down by the bridge. We're investigating, and I was told you might have some information for me. Nah, I heard some sirens before, but I figured they were headed for the mansion mansion. That's where most of the f***ed up stuff happens. Why would they go to the mansion mansion if Chucky's already dead? Well, maybe Dolores is still living there. I should go to the mansion mansion at some point. What weird stuff do you know about at the mansion? You want to find out about the mansion mansion? You're going to have to talk to some other idiot. I keep to myself and the town folk leave me the f*** alone. Thank I'm not about to rock the boat. I don't pay rent here and I can't go anywhere else after my Next wife took me for everything I had. So how do you live then? If you, well, at least you can, you're a freeloader. So uh, how haven't you already been kicked out of here? I mean seriously, he's a freeloader. He shouldn't be able to stay here. Apparently the whole place is abandoned and such. Sheriff is doing a bad job, I guess. We heard you don't get along with the locals. That's what Give he said. My creepy clown face, and Paul Sean for abusive name-calling, it's not made me a popular community figure. No. Understand. But I don't need the validation of these small-town losers. I'm Ransom the Clown. I was on the Tonight Show. I'm great. Not anymore, apparently. It takes only one mishap to lose all of your fame. It has happened to many people. Especially if... There's a lot of tragic stories back in the old film industry. 
in the, especially in the 20s to 30s when they started to move from silent era to the uh, sound era. Silent films were dying out because sound systems were now starting to work and they could have sound in their films. So there were a lot of actors who were really great with all of their body language and as such in silent films. But once they moved on to the speaking films, their voices didn't really match their body language. So there were a lot of uh, actors who might have been e either overdubbed because of their voice, or they just got fired because of their voice. There were a lot of actors there. The, pretty much the, the musical, if you ever seen Singing in the Rain, that's a spoof of that era, of that time period. It is a comedy about that, but it also actually tells you the story of how things happened back then. How it really was. It's a really... Stra lots of tragic stories there. That's a bit of a downer story too, still. Well, clowns are scary. How about we go to horror this time, instead of drama. Tra tragedy and drama. What do you know about Chuck? Chuck? As in, Chuck, my factory is too good to make... Toys, Edmund. Any other Didn't trucks here? Pompous well, myself, but I knew his brother Frank. Well, there's Chuck the Plant. Weedy guy, total scared to stand up to his big brother, even though the family business was in the crapper. You do know that they're both dead. Maybe he doesn't know that they're dead. How do you know Franklin Edmund? We were supposed to go into business together. Really? My act was about to go bigger than Jesus. Uh, I was a hit on the Tonight Show. Yeah, you can't tell I was on colors. my way to the top, so we figured why not cash in with a little merchandising. Franklin wanted to get the pillow factory into making toys, so it seemed like a good fit. Yeah, I would say it would have been a very good fit, like the pillow bears that he was trying to market already, but then got killed because of it, I guess. Damn, Franklin, you had a great idea, but... You tried to work behind Chuck's back, and apparently somebody else didn't like the idea, and everybody got killed. This... The whole story is mysterious. I like it. What kind of toys were you planning to make with Franklin? Ransom toys? Jeez, how do you get by in life without brains or beauty? Ooh. Isn't it obvious? We were gonna make Ransom the Clown insult dolls. Would have been great if Franklin hadn't bailed on me and gone missing before we signed the contracts. I could have been rich by now if that little toady had grown a backbone. Well, we could tell him that Franklin's dead. No. Also, you had already toys made out of you. Why do you? Why would you need more toys? Were they gonna be different kind of toys? Ransom, insult, clown, pillows? Well, the hair would have been soft at least, but the face on it? Don't go anywhere. I'll be back. Whatever, Red. Not like I'm going anywhere, but you're not getting inside without a warrant. Well, that didn't work out as I thought. Hey, I can play as Ransom now. Cool. Why? It's my next lawyer's business card. Brent Bailiwick JD. Legal problems? We'll screw them for you. I'm in the phone book. He definitely screwed me. Why do you still have it? Is there a reason we might need to call your lawyer at some point? Get everyone in town to hate me. I guess that we need to get off. Feed little peeper. Get package at post office. Try removing makeup again. Collect 50 more specks of dust. P.S. I hate my life and go beep yourself if you found this out and reading it. Well, you're telling that to yourself right now, Ransom, so... Joke's on you. What a f*** of a still doesn't work! Well, at least I tried. Have you thought of using uh, industrial cleaning acid? Maybe that'll work. So, I don't like to make my bed. Who the f cares? Anybody who visits you? As in nobody? It's a Ransom the Clown comic. Issue number one. Nice. A collectible. Maybe we can trade it to somebody. 
meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Rents and the clown, do bad. Trademark. Paints wearing off. Oh, they always forget the trademark. My old circus poster featured the amazing Ransom the Clown. That slop tasted like crap when I made it last week. Maybe it's gotten better with age. The fly larva crawling all over it seemed to think so. Uh, I can only imagine the stench coming out of that. Ew. Anything in your safe? It's my joke book. No need to keep it locked up. Then why did you? Who'd want to steal it? Why did you even have it in there if you don't care to keep it there? Let's just take it with us. It's a page from my joke book. Why are there pages of your joke book in your safe? Well, let's just take them all then. Come back here. Hey! Oh, great. Stop! We're going Monkey Island 2 on this biatch. Just like with the map piece, now we gotta go find a missing joke. Damn broken window. A missing beeping joke book page. Yeah, try removing makeup again. Find a missing joke book page. Did you meet the beeping joke book? It's my joke book, but there are four pages missing. It's a page from my joke book. Can I just put them in? Got the page stuck back into the got the page stuck back got the page stuck back into the joke book. Postal notice. It's an attempted delivery notice. Huh. Package held at Thimbleweed Park Post Office for Ransom the Clown. I'm not gonna search the circus for you, Ransom. George the Postman. Well, f you, Georgie, you lazy. Yeah, that is quite lazy. It's obvious that he lives in here, not somewhere random in the circus area. George is lazy. Package held at no, Thimbleweed Park. I already read that. Well, you, Georgie. So we can go to the post office with them. My man. official Ransom the Clown underwear. Trademark. Haven't had time to wash them yet. Everyone forgets the rip trademark, except the Tron machines. Can I pick them up? Always time to do laundry later. But we could use the uh, underwear to distract somebody or give it to the hobo. I miss my housekeeper. I'm sure you do. Can we use the faucet? Well, at least we can say that he still has running water, so he can drink. That's good, I guess. That's just my eviction notice from five years ago. Every time that sheriff tries to kick me out, I give him hell, and he's afraid to come back. Ah, so that's why he hasn't been doing his job evicting you out of here. But you've been living here five years? The place is looking a lot better than I would think for having been a freeloader for five years, and you still have your balloon somehow. I'll just leave it where it is. That way I can laugh at the sheriff whenever I feel like crap. Cool. I dread to open the, the fridge, but I got to. Huh. Moldy cheese. It's my cheese. I'm letting it age. I think it's aged enough because it's moldy already. You never know, you might when you might need a moldy cheese. Oh hamster! Hey, that's uh your little beeper then? It's Lil Beeper, my pet hamster. Looks very hungry. Can I use the microwave? It's broken. But what kind of crazy would microwave a hamster? Not even I would stoop that low. Well, if you're playing Maniac Mansion, Sid or Razor can do it. They would stoop they stoop that low. They would have uh, microwave a hamster and it would explode in a bloody, bloody mess in the microwave and when you take it out it's a good, just a bloody mess in their inventory and if they, you take it to weird Ed he kills them just saying ooh speck of dust and also so, why is there a trampoline here it's my old trampoline brings back memories can we use it? I need to be higher to jump on it. Just climb on it then. It's my old trampoline. Brings back. It's too heavy. Push it. Push it some more. Now can we use it? You. I'm not gonna jump on that without a spotter. Okay. Safety first. Good. Actually, that's a good idea. That's as far to the left I can move it. They'll have to push it to move it to the right. Don't you mean pull it? 
Pushing is to the left and pulling is to the right. I have no idea why I'm doing this, but hey. I can do it, so I'm doing it. That's as far to the right as I can move it. I'll have to pull it to move it to the left. No, you push it to the left. Can I now use the trampoline? I need to be higher to jump on it. I guess I can only jump from this side. But I would have to find out why I would shoot, why I would do that first. It's a rancid kernel of popcorn. Little Beeper loves this crap. Ah, so I need to get the popcorn to feed to the Little Beeper. Okay. I won't pick up some greasy, disgusting, inedible piece of popcorn if I can't put it in something. Okay. Let's find something that I can use. Maybe this popcorn bag? It's an empty popcorn bag. It's empty. The rats and I cleaned it out years ago. Apparently, you left it also on the floor everywhere. Well, the ground everywhere. Well, at least I have uh, some kind of a container for all this. A speck of dust on the right. Well, that's one. Lil Beeper loves this crap. I guess we need to get 48 more specks of dust. Okay, two. I can count. Good for you. Am I really gonna pick up all this crap? Apparently so. The rats are having more fun at this than I am. Well, because they Not eat it. Even half full yet. This sucks. Hey, the rat is stealing Almost my popcorn. Full. God damn it. Gotta be faster at this. Half full now. This is taking too. At this rate, it'll be 1988 before I'm. This is gonna take forever. Hey, hey, give me back my goddamn. Son of a... The bag's partially full of popcorn. I guess I need to get a full bag. I'm gonna try. Let's go back uh, to the little beeper and see if he's happy. With what we got. That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. Uh, he can eat that much. What were you saying? That's not gonna be enough for a little beeper. He can eat that much crap in two seconds. And apparently I missed a speck of dust. It's right there. Any speck of dust anywhere else? Looks like a rat hole. Yeah, it does look like a rat hole. Damn. Better take... You should take better care of your own van there, man. Van man. Ooh. More speck. It's a box with a crank on it. So it's a jack in a box. Or a snake in a box. Okay. So what do There's we? There's an inch thick layer of dust on it. it hasn't I... been used in years. Can I pick up all that dust? I don't want to pick that up. Damn. It's my tube of Kozlerix patented anti-itch medicine. It works wonders. I'm sure it does. No, not give. What am I trying to give? There. What a f of a f still doesn't work. Well, it was worth a try. Well, at least I tried. Yep. Again. That's not gonna work. Besides, it's pretty rusty and filled with rat. Ooh, a speck of dust. I'm glad I came onto the stage. And now for an no audience, it's Ransom the Insult Clown. Thank you very much for the great show and all that. Okay, you ratty rat. Where are you taking your popcorn? Huh. That was easy to find. Looks like a rat hole. Want to make an exchange here? Get some moldy cheese and you give me all the popcorn you've got? Well, we got a popcorn. There's gotta be a better way. Or a better beeping way, like it, like the text said. Well, maybe if I just... Uh... No, they didn't put them out here. Oh, there we go. It's a full bag of popcorn. Yeah, yeah. Now we can bring this to little beeper and get the hell out of here, I guess. It was in the do 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 list. So I was thinking I should do this first before we go anywhere else. 
Here you go, little beeper. Enjoy your crap. There he is, happily eating on some very stale popcorn. Well, he's a hamster. He'll just uh, store it into his mm, cheek pouches and be done with it. So the midway. That's where the midway used to be. Now it's my garbage dump. Well, that asshole who had the shooting range he deserves it. So are we now helping uh, Ray and Reyes? Get lost, Ransom. I'll do what I can to help you find the killer. But only because I know you pin it on me just out of spite. Just making my quota of squashing scumbags. I've said it once, I'll say it again. You, Red! Well, as far as we know, Ransom is totally innocent. He's just an asshole. That doesn't mean that you need to... Arrest him. Chuck. Hey, that rhymes. I didn't do four years of clown college for nothing. Four years clown college. Ah, I'm bored now. What a colorful person Ransom is. But I think I'm gonna leave it here and continue next time. Man, we're in control of Ransom. Damn, I really wasn't expecting that. Maybe next time I'll visit uh, the uh, the witch uh, lady, the uh, boyer, boyer is it? Not a boyerist. Uh, clairvoyant lady to see what she has to say about Ransom and the curse. You never know, we might be able to lift it. But thank you everybody for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a good evening, good afternoon, and good morning, and I will see you all next time. Take care people, bye.